Hello friends, I am Neha and once again I welcome you back to our YouTube channel about technology. Our today's video tutorial will be about differences between object oriented programming and procedure oriented programming. Although both are the programming approaches used to create different software but they do differ on different parameters. Let us proceed with the video to get into more detail. Let us first discuss what is programming. It is creating a set of instructions that perform certain tasks. These instructions tell computer how the task has to be performed. Programming can be done in high level language that is user friendly or it can be done in a low level language that is machine friendly. On the basis of characteristic programming language can be classified as procedural, object oriented, declarative, logical etc. The most common among these are procedural and object oriented programming. Both of these implement program in a high level language. Let us first discuss about procedure oriented programming. In procedure oriented programming the program has sequence of instructions and therefore it execute instructions in a sequential order. If the program is large it is divided into small units that we refer as function, routines or subroutines. These functions can directly operate global data which obviously raises the security concern. Though procedure oriented programming was very popular at the starting of 20th century but it got rapidly replaced by object oriented programming. Examples of procedure oriented programming are C, COBOL, Pascal, VB etc. Now let us proceed with the object oriented programming. The object oriented programming is based on the concept of objects and classes. Object it is an instance of a class on which operation has to be performed and class it describes the structure of object using data member and member function that can operate on this object. In object oriented programming data is closely tied to the member function of a class that is going to operate on this data. Thus data is more secure in object oriented programming. The important feature of object oriented programming are inheritance, data abstraction, encapsulation, polymorphism etc. Now when you are aware of procedure oriented programming and object oriented programming let us discuss about the differences between them. POP is the procedure oriented programming whereas OOP is the object oriented programming. In POP the program is implemented in the top down approach whereas in OOP program is implemented in the bottom up approach. In POP focuses on the procedure of the task whereas in OOP focuses on the security of data. In POP large program are divided into functions whereas in OOP entire program is divided into objects. In POP there is no access specifier whereas in OOP the access specifier are public, private and protected. In POP there is no overloading whereas in OOP functions, constructors, operators are overloaded. In POP there is no concept of inheritance whereas in OOP inheritance is achieved in three modes public, private and protected. In POP functions in the program share global data whereas in OOP object share data through member function. In POP there is no concept of friend function whereas in OOP the class or a function can be friend of another class. In POP there is no concept of virtual function whereas in OOP virtual function appear during inheritance. In POP there is no proper way to hide data hence data is insecure here. In OOP data is hidden in three modes public, private and protected. Hence data is more secure in OOP. In POP code reusability is limited whereas in OOP code reusability is achieved through the concept of inheritance. POP is used to implement small size program whereas OOP is used to implement large size program. Execution of a POP program is comparatively faster whereas execution of OOP program is comparatively slower. Examples of procedure oriented programming are C, VB, Fortran, Pascal etc. Example of object oriented programming are C++, Java, .NET, C hash etc. So this is all about procedure oriented programming, object oriented programming and the differences between them. For more details you can refer our official website techdifferences.com. I had provided URL for the same in the description below. Please like and share our video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel about technology. 
Keep checking the channel for further updates and put your comment and queries in the section below. We'll be back again soon with a new video. Till then, take a good care of yourself.